Let me show you how to fix your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. This is usually due to suspicious activity or billing issues. I'll show you how to deal with it. Now we need to head into the settings app on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer. And we need to check your account in the App Store. So let's go through the process of checking your account and make sure there aren't any issues. Sometimes your account can be flagged by Apple and a lot of times that's related to your payment method and maybe your payment method expiring. So within the App Store, you should have a credit card or a debit card linked on there. Make sure to check it and make sure that it is not expired. You have the CVV in there and the billing address is correct. If it is not correct, you can just update it or you can always just go back and hit add a payment method and enter in a new payment method here. Either a credit card or a debit card works. Now, after we've gone through that step, let's also check to make sure your subscriptions don't have any issues. If you have any active subscriptions and you go to those active subscriptions, it should say that everything is fine. If there's a pop-up that says, hey, there's an issue with your billing or there's any other issue with your specific subscription, either this one or any other ones, you need to fix that and make sure everything is working normally with your subscriptions for you to be able to use your app store normally. Now, if you go through all of these steps and it's still not working, what we're gonna do is head into the app store and we can go through the process of going to your account within the app store and checking to see if everything looks good in here. Now you could choose to remove this device and then just re-log in, or you can just tap on your Apple account here and go directly to your Apple account online. Again, just go through the process of signing into your account. Let me just use my face ID to sign in here. And now after I'm signed in, we're gonna go through the process of making sure there aren't any issues with your accounts or with any of the devices. So again, go through payment and shipping and then check everything as well as go through subscriptions. Now, if everything looks good, the next thing I would recommend doing is making sure that you don't have a VPN turned on. That can sometimes cause issues with your account. So just go through the process within your settings to find your VPN. And if you do have a VPN turned on, just make sure you turn it off. Now, the last thing that you can do if none of those steps work is you can just go through in Google and type in App Store Reactivate Account. From here, you'll be able to see it walks you through if your Apple account is locked, not active or disabled, you can go through these steps. A lot of these steps are things that we have already done, but it does say if you can't gain access, you can create a new account or at the very bottom, if your media and purchases account is disabled, you can request reactivation. So go through the process of requesting this reactivation on your Apple account. It will use your Apple ID or it might be basically going through the process of asking you to log in. And it says enable account. You can request account activation by providing more info. Go through this process, essentially filling out everything and saying what you're having issues with. You could say other or anything else here and then continue through this. You can see in this case, my account is already enabled, but if yours isn't, it will go through process, basically giving you options to contact Apple and get that reinstated.